Hi, this is Pete Olivier, Flow Calibration Technician at Thompson Equipment Company. I'm going to demonstrate for you how to set up and operate a Yokogawa AdMeg AM11 secondary. Uh, when you first turn it on, you'll probably see a display similar to this B10 tag number showing in the LCD readout here. Although it may come up in some other display that's not necessary that it be here. This is just where you're most likely going to find it. Uh, you have four buttons to operate this device, uh, set, shift, ink, and deck. Uh, you use ink and deck to raise and lower the parameter number that you're looking for, set to select it, and then once you're in it, if you have to go from one digit to another, you use the shift to advance through the, uh, through the parameters. Uh, first thing we have to do is enter some parameters, just like we did on our uh, AXF secondary. Uh, so we're going to increment to uh, B19, which is the next option up. Uh, we are going to be telling this that we're using an AdMeg. I'm, I have a simulated tube connected to this device right now, and it's uh, it, the criteria is if the coil resistance is more than 60 ohms, it's an AdMeg. If it's less than 60 ohms, it's a UMeg. There's also a calibrator setting, but you don't want to use that. That's only used when you're calibrating the instrument. Uh, but I will advance through this, you can see, excuse me, um, shift to get into it, and then increment UMAG, calibrator, add mag, set, and it will blink, and hit set a couple of times, and it'll, when the cursor jumps back to the parameter number, it's ready to go to the next parameter. We select size unit, in this case it's inch, we can also select millimeters, nominal size. Currently it's set for a 3 inch. I'm going to be using cow factors for a 12 inch meter so I'm going to have to change this. Set. Excuse me. Shift. Shift. Increment to a 10. Shift. Decrement to a 2. So we now have it set for 12. Press set twice. and then we're ready to go on to the next parameter, which is the flow unit. We work in gallons here. You can work in barrels or uh, meters, feet, cubic meters, a number of different uh, uh, units that you can work with. If we're flowing, and we're using the time unit of per minute, if we're flowing a meter here, we're going to be calibrating a 12 inch meter at 3600 gallons, no, yes, 3600 gallons per minute. Uh, we're going to increment to the flow span, which is currently set for 300. Shift, and then we increment it. Shift, 6, shift, shift, and I have a decimal point where I don't want one. I increment, excuse me, let's try decrement. There we go. 3,600 gallons per minute set, and set again. Increment, and the next thing we have is the damping. We would normally use three second damping. You can go a number of different ranges here, but we're gonna stay at, uh, at three seconds here. This is nominally what we would calibrate at. Your process will dictate what, you, what kind of damping you're going to need increment to the next parameter which will be the low meter factor. For a 12 inch meter a typical low meter factor might be 0.6416 so we shift to get in there, decrement the 1 to a 0, increment that to a 6, shift 4, shift 1 and decrement to a 6, 6416, set and set increment to B31 for the high meter factor. A typical high meter factor for 12 inch meter is going to be something on the order of 0.5828. Shift, decrement that down. Shift, one, two, three, four, five. Whoops. Shift, decrement down to eight. And we can go in either direction here. I go whichever is closest. down to 8 again. Set and set. 
Now we have to zero the meter. So with no flow in the meter, in the in the second the uh, sensor tube, we come over to. Actually, let me use a little shortcut here. Shift, shift, just so I can get. I need to go from B up to L, which is where the zero is located. C, D. Oops, excuse me. There's no D on this one. Not all of them have all parameters. Shift from L, which is adjust, and then increment L10 is zero tuning inhibit. We want to enable it, so we increment that. Excuse me. We shift and then increment that to enable set. And then increment once more to get to the mag flow zero when we press it. If it's in L11, pressing set causes it to perform the zero function. And it will perform the zero and come back with a number that tells you uh, that it's, uh, it's compensated for whatever noise is on the line. It's typically about a minute and a half to two minutes to zero. And that's essentially all that it takes to set up an AM11 for uh, operation with your tube. Uh, I hope that we've answered some questions on how to set these things up. If you have any further questions, uh, please feel free to call us, 504-833-6381, or check out our website. Thank you.